what we say what did we learn present indicative verb present active indicative mode uh, form of the verb and uh, suraj did a good job uh, explaining us different aspects about greek verbs uh, we'll take some time to practice now and uh, see how we you know how we understand how we can make use of uh, the learning that we had so new theory or anything uh, so we'll take some time to practice so for our i'll just put this one this is the table we learned uh, the conjugation table for present active indicative verb chart can anybody read it for me yes sir form lower first person singular i am losing translation second third person singular louis you are losing third person singular louis is it is losing then first person plural luomen we are losing second person plural luete you are losing third person plural luosin they are losing they are losing okay so we'll keep it at the background and try to look into uh, practice here can anybody read this one sam come again please your voice was a little breaking legusin legusin okay so go ahead what is the uh, we uh, this is a verb so we don't have case okay we don't have case and we don't have gender okay. if it is a noun then you will have a case and gender but it is a verb so we have a person and tense Uh, so let's pass this one uh, what is the person is it a person plural again it, it is third person plural third person plural third person plural third person i'll try to type oh this is too big let me just reduce the font size a little bit okay third person number is plural plural okay then tense uh they are losing present indicate present perfect present present tense and uh, voice is active or passive In... active active so i'll say active mood is in present indicative indicative remember we last uh, right we learned about four moods indicative imperative interrogative and subjunctive moods okay so out of that we are learning just we began with indicative mood and what would be the lexical form which is going to be interesting lego lego well i'm not good at typing so i'll try le yeah is it lexical form yeah yes 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 sir i say i they are saying what is the inflected see lexical meaning will be i say but inflected meaning will be you have to say third person plural so what is say they say they are say any question on this class yes is me yeah yeah i mean uh, if anybody has any objection or any question with this inflect in, you know inflected meaning no okay so we'll go ahead with the uh, next one i'll ask uh,
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aku pay. Okay. It's a second person singular. Second person singular. Present tense. Present tense. Active voice. Active. Indicative. Indicative. And the uh, echo. Dispel for me. Alpha. Then uh, kappa. Okay, I'm I'm leaving the leaving out the. Let me try the one. Kappa. Is it? The form. Yes. Did they type right or it wrong? Uh, okay, uh, so uh, tell the inflected meaning for this. Uh, he or she or it. Mm -hmm. It's meaning I forgot, sir. <laughs> Anybody? Can anybody throw some idea? What does this mean? He hears. Huh? Okay. Hears. Okay. He hears or she hears or it hears. I think, sir, so. it's third person. It's third person, I think, so. Okay. So what is the table says? Uh, let's see. I didn't notice that. Third person, singular. So uh, did I type right or did I type wrong or Asuk said wrong? I <laughs> said Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, this is third person. Because here on the inflected meaning, it looks okay. But when it came to parsing, it was some problem. Uh, let's try with uh, Tuna. Would you try with the uh, yes, third one? Plural. Yeah, just read off the word and sir, try it. Okay. First uh, woman. First person. Okay. First person. Yes. Plural. Plural. Present. Okay. I'm just going ahead with this one because okay. uh, I don't think anything new will come here. Yeah, here you tell me. Uh, pistol. Yes. Pistol. Is it the way? Okay, you have to bear with me because I'm also not a fluent uh, Greek speaker or type. Type so there might be some, you know, some failures on the spelling side. So you have to verify it with the book or some dictionary, okay, with these lexical forms. I'll rather put it on red so that uh, you'll be watchful, not take it for granted. So what is the inflected meaning for this one? We believe. We believe. We believe. Okay. Shall I ask Enjo, what is, would you try with the fourth? Akuo. Yes. Uh, first person singular. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, present indicative. Present. Uh, then you say voice. 
Active. Then you say mode. Then you say uh, lexical form. This is the same. Same will come as lexical form. Okay. Uh, I hear uh, many. I hear. I hear. Ajana, how do you try? With the uh, fifth, I hope. Yeah, it is fifth. Brother Jananan? Yes, yes. Bleposi. I think this is third person. Third person. Third person. Plural. Good. Um, present active indicative. Present active indicative. And uh, lexical form is blepo. Is it? Blepo. Okay. What is the inflected uh, meaning? Inflected meaning, actually. I don't know. Okay. Um, blepo. Anybody has any idea what is the meaning for this? Maybe I throw. Maybe see, I see. I see. I see. Let go in. I see. E or C. So, what to do with the meaning? Um, Jenna? Uh, Jenna, for this inflected meaning, I mean, the whole inflections and all. Yeah, I see. Uh, no, you say third person plural, so you have to say the meaning. We, we, we see. No, that is second person. Third person will be they, 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 see. they see. I you see if you look at this one, we don't have a new here. Removable new, movable new. What we say at some words at the end we'll have a new, uh, but in sometimes uh, you see it missing. So don't get confused. That is still the third person plural. Okay, uh, Brother Goma, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Okay, he said. Uh, go ahead and uh, do it. Again. This is Lambda, okay? I hope you can. Because of my software, sometimes it turns into capitalized. Yeah. In terms of uh, what is the person? Is it the first, second, third person? No way. No way. The second person? First of all, we have to find out what person it is. Is it a first person, single, first person, or second person, or third person? Then you have to say number, then present active indicative, whatever tense, aspect, mood. Then you have to go to lexical form. At last, you have to say the inflected meaning. So, Lue, I could show you the chart, but again, if I saw, then you get the answer. You know, it is right there on the chart. Can you guess? Maybe I'll look, put it down a little bit, so look at the endings and try to guess what. Well, I said person. Come again, please. Yeah, said person. Okay. okay. Singular, plural. 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 Yes. Uh, have some observations on that. It's not plural, it is singular. You, you see here, Akwe is adding if you see, okay? 
endings are same here so it should indicate the person number in the, you know gender we don't have but then okay. it is not plural rather it is singular singular okay third person singular and what tense it is present present active but voice okay what more indicative indicative and what would be the lexical form indicative lexical form, lexical form. Well, uh, we do not have a, we won't have a epsilon there actually. A root form would be Luo. Okay. Okay. We have yeah, the, yeah. Meant the, the epsilon and the yota. Mm. This is this is third person singular marker, personal marker. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. So the root is Luo. As the students were saying, uh, that uh, the you know the lexical form which we find for the verbs uh, in the dictionaries uh, will always be represented with the first person singular. Yeah. So what is the inflected meaning? Maybe if I can be helped on that one. Yeah, inflected meaning means you have to say it in English, probably including all this information. You know, at least these three information should be there. So yeah, I think the meaning is what I'm kind of behind. I'm not okay. about to tell. Yeah. Okay, so third person singular, what would be the one? Here also you have a third person singular. How we say third person singular? He, she, he, or it. Okay, I hope you follow my screen. So we can just simply say he, she, or it. Luo means what? Luo means I lose. So here what we'll say, he, she, or it. Lose okay. It's okay. Uh, I, if you look at it, we are just doing all this thing, okay? The third person singular, low, right? Okay, easy or is losing. I missed the first part. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah so. sorry. Lue, we just looked into this thing. Lue. Okay, uh, let's, uh, sister uh, Melody, would you try? You are not busy. <laughs> I hope. Sister Melody? Okay, I would ask uh, Manoj. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Second person. No, second, second person, uh, single, uh, singular, uh, plural, right? Plural, uh, plural, yeah. okay, plural, uh, present tense, 
Present tense. Active voice. You can say that to you also. Active voice and in indicative. In indicative mood. And, and what is the lexical form? Uh, luo. Uh, what is the root? Or how did you read this one? Legate. Okay, so root form is? Lego. Lego. What does Lego mean? Anybody? Say, say, say. Saying, okay, Lego means I say, I speak. Okay. But here, uh, what would be the inflected meaning? Legate. So you have to say third person plural, uh, second person plural. You say. You say or are saying, okay? Plural, actually, it should be. Uh, but in English, we don't have uh, option to represent what the same. Okay, let's uh, go to next one. And uh, Savita, sister, are you there? Would you try with this? Okay, sir. Okay. Piste is uh, uh, second person. Okay. Singular. Okay. Uh, present. Okay. Active indicative. Okay. Uh, pisto. Pisto. Okay. Piste. Uh, meaning what is the inflected meaning? You, you believe. You believe. Or are believing. Okay. Okay, sir. Very good. Okay, this is the same word. So, uh, Sister Sanimal, would you try with this same? Uh, First person. First person. Singular. Singular. Present tense. Present tense. Active. Active voice. Indicative. Indicative mode. What is the lexical form? Istio. I'll just copy it here. So the lexical uh, inflected meaning is? I believe. I believe. Okay. Uh, so this is just a little bit of practice. Uh, we have this one. We'll go into some easy sentences, I think, but uh, not necessary to be easy uh, for many of you. But we'll try to look into some of these sentences and try to identify the verb and whatever you know words we have here, parts of speech we we can recognize here. So I hope that would be a, not just an exercise for the verbs, but also for articles, for pronouns. Uh, and also for uh, you know some of the nouns, so we'll try with this one. Uh, uh, Nitesh, would you try the first one? Uh, Okay, uh, so Pravin Kumar, would you try? Yeah. 
itu to to oke okay. uh, is it provin or nitis i am confused provin oke okay, oke okay. good to 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 new yes ah humais oke okay, with the rock breathing so you have a humais o o oke okay. pot p epsilon p then you have a uh, sigma tau and epsilon this tau oke to to humais o pistuate so let's first since we are talking about verbs let's first find out where is the verb can you find identify where is the verb easy way is to look into the endings if you find any ending similar to what we learned today so that would be an easy hint uh, you know to identify the verb probably can you look it yes sir. i think last one it is the verb okay so we just talked about it in our table on the top here stewarte so this is the verb can you pass this one which person it is ate is there you can look at the chart if it is available to you otherwise i can show you here ate is where you see here second person plural luete so you have a hand ending here stewarte so it is a second person plural then of course present active indicative is to it so that means you people or you or many you plural believe who means what can anybody remember anybody remembers what the surasa said who is indicating negative it's not negative okay so no not ne article this is negative negative means not okay is to it you what we say only if you take only this much you are not you are not not uh, this is not about bill we are talking about believe yeah. right is to you you not believe you is believe that is the root so here say you believe. do not believe yes Pistuete means you do not believe. Oh, pistuete, do not believe. Okay, who may is uh, who can identify who may is? Who may is means? Who may? I think ah, uh, this is second person. Huh? Second singular. person. Singular. 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 Ah uh, no. Yes. Singular. Who may? Yes. Second person singular. Plural. It can't singular. Be singular. it should be plural okay by yeah, is... yes yes no this is ending ah, okay okay i get to your point but you have to this is a pronoun right so you have to see uh, the pronoun chart if you remember where you start <clears throat> with the uh, we have two forms here right hamais is there and humais there person okay not yet ah huh? 
Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, so we are talking about Humayis. Uh, when you say it is a third person looking at the ending, you have to see what will be the root, right? So if you root doesn't have any meaning, of, you know, then it is a pronoun. So you have to go back to your first person pronouns and second person pronouns. Can anybody rem uh, anybody remembers that or not? Yes. Yes, I remember. Okay. So what it is? What does that mean? First Mace. person plural. First person plural. Is that right? No, sir. Second person. Which one, sir? Number one only. First person plural. Well, I myself am a bit confused as I'm looking back to some handout to see if I can find a pronoun. Uh, yes, sir, it is second person plural. Second person. Second person. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it a second person? Yes, sir. Plural? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay, so what case it is? You remember that uh, pronouns also are inflected for case and number and gender? Nominative. Nominative. It is, it cannot be nominated. Is it nominative? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, plural. Pl plural nominative. So yes. what does, uh, how we, when, uh, what would be the translation for that? You, 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 you do not believe yes. to talk. What does this mean and what is this? No. To talk. This. this is a, uh, what is this? This is an article or a pronoun, I mean, a demonstrative pronoun. Demonstrative pronoun. This is a demonstrative pronoun on with what case? Dative case, because you have dative a yota case. subscript dative or case. omega. Dative case. dative case. So in, is it plural or singular? Singular. Singular, in this. You do not believe in this. Okay? So when we translate, the verb uh, will come here. Means you not believe in this because of in this uh, because it is in dative so we say in this or uh, maybe in down some sentences we'll find some more so the you know just rough translation would be you you do not believe in this okay uh, so i don't know which uh, scripture person it is uh, let's look into another one i hope uh, you can identify with this thing uh, I'll ask uh, Kiran Kumar, do you read this thing? Second one. Kiran? Okay. Uh, I'll ask Simanchal Digal. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Please try. Uh, ok. Ok. Okay. Ok. Ok. Uh, echo. Echo. Book, echo, echo. Uh, ab, abastro, abastro. Okay, abastro. Let's, let's identify each alphabets here. This is alpha. Yeah. With some stress marking. This is a smooth breath, uh, some stress. What is this? Uh, yeah. uh, this is a new. Okay. New. Okay. New. Yeah. So, and what is this? Sa. 
not sir this is delta yeah. okay so this is delta and you have a and what is this ra ra rho rho and alpha so how it pronounce an a drop alpha and an drop andra 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 yeah okay so what is the full sentence a try again reading book book uh echo uh echo andra 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 okay so there is uh so i hope you already remember this thing no that book is book comes from who okay who is yeah. what negation negation marker or negative marker yeah. uh it got a kappa because there are two vowels in you know it is followed by a vowel so in order to avoid uh, pv cluster vowel cluster they put kappa there in the or <clears throat> not echo echo is so uh, who can tell uh himachal do you know what is echo means what is the meaning no sir i don't know sir okay uh, anybody with some greek background um sir i have i have okay echo is uh, it is uh, in the what person it is himachal would say let's see if you can find the parsing for this conjugation for this singular what person yeah first person first person singular okay so what would be the translation i have i have is this one and if you together you translate what it would be i uh, i i have see if you say just just this much it is i have okay but when yeah. you say with this together it will be i do not have because you have to add this negative marker so it say i do not have all right is that clear yes, yes sir okay so what it is saying i do not have andra mm -hmm. andra is what what is the meaning for andra anybody daniel daniel brother daniel works huh after this okay whoever knows you can just Men, sir. Men. Men. Okay. Men. Thank you, Tuna. So, what it is said? I I do, do not, not have have men. Men and uh, uh, men. Sometimes Andra is translated as husband also. Okay, uh, in Greek. So. what the, it is saying is i do not have a husband loose translation out of free translation would be i do not have a translation can anybody guess uh, from which scripture person which part of the story in the new testament you have this statement john 4 john chapter 4 john okay, okay. Uh, which one john chapter 4 samaritan samaritan okay. yes good you are good students i can remember the chapters but you know the context is samaritan woman speaking with jesus and uh, when jesus asks her go and call your husband she answers this way okay ko andra so i don't have a husband uh, so are you feeling bored or we are going at learning sir so learning sir okay so who is feeling bored anybody should be there somebody should be there who is feeling bored uh, so i'll ask them to try you know to chase out their boredom uh, anyways 
So tapas, uh, would you try with this one? This is a bit long, but I think it is easier. Also, yes, yes, don't sir. worry if you don't know the meanings. We'll help you. We, as a class, we'll learn each other, you know, together. Just read it out. Apik rite ko oxlos dia mo neon hex ace. Okay, uh, one problem, not problem, but you have to work on. When you read this one, don't read it as X, okay? This is not X e. in Greek. C? Uh, yeah, key. Uh, C-H-key. Uh, uh, right. Close. So you have to, so you have okay. to pronounce it as a close. Yeah. A okay. Uh, so a close, a case. Okay. Oh. So, at least we have one verb right here. Can you identify? Actually, there are two verbs, but you can identify at least with one. Second, singular. No, first you uh, let the tapas identify the verb. Yeah, this uh, uh, is the case. case. The last word you see. Okay. Yeah, that is verb. And it is uh, plural, uh, a, a, okay, this is uh, singular number, second person. Okay. Second person, singular number, present tense. Okay. But so I, don't know from... the, I don't know the meaning. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the same meaning actually from here. Okay. A car is the root form of a case. So what, what did we do with this? What did we do with this? I do not have a husband. I have is the meaning. And here also a case, since you said this second person singular, it will be you, you have. have. Uh, demon okay. versus demon. You have a demon. Okay, you have a demon. Daimonian. Okay. So, well, there is another word. Uh, I think it was uh, was Tuna or somebody was trying to say. There is another verb also here that is apikrite. Okay, apikrite. We haven't learned about the endings for this, but uh, the meaning is answer. So, okay, sorry. Um, we have an article here. What what case and what number gender is it is? Can anybody re recall? This is nominative. Nominative. And uh, third. Okay. And this is masculine nominative. Singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Okay. So this would indicate. Uh, you know, there is a noun around it. So, apakrite is a verb. So, you have a noun here. It is a crowd. Okay. Oklos is crowd. I hope it is on the vocabulary list, which was given on Friday. Um, so, the crowd answered. What they answered? You have demon, demons, a demon, demonian. Okay. Is that fine? Any doubts? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, let's read uh, Sunita. Would you try with this one? Four. Okay, so, piste, piste, uis, a stone, uyon, tau, anthropo. 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 Yeah, this even you have to say it as a u, even here also. You read it as tau, it is not tau, you have to say two. 
beyond to anthropo okay so there is a lot of information first of all what it is question mark question mark and um, what it is uh, let uh, sunita tell you singular you. so this is a personal pronoun second, second person, person singular and uh, let's say what it is ton sunita you remember anything it's ton ton is ton is neutral on hindi Ah uh, no! First, uh, let uh, tell me: is is it a pronoun? Is it article or it, what it is actually? What kind of word it is? It is pronoun. No, not pronoun. Uh, this is a article. Okay, uh, article with ho, ton, o to, to, ton. If you remember ho. on the top you have o to tau omicron like this this is two then you have to with the omega and iota subscript then you have this ton this is in accusative case singular nominative singular or it can be i think it also singular no yeah it is masculine only not a neuter one neuter uh, will be to okay so this is an article and what is we on we on we on means noun noun it is a noun and uh, what is the lexical form weos 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 means uh, son okay Uh, so anyway let's look into the verb first we, where is the verb sunita stay you stay you is okay just pass it for us uh, it is second person singular mm -hmm. yeah and the lexical form will be piste piste o oh, it has to end with okay piste o so you so uh, this uh, second person singular with what it agrees if you look into as it agrees with this thing okay mm -hmm. so they they agree together this is second person singular and this is also second person singular you so how you translate this thing you believe believe okay you believe and as is in in uh, the preposition in on upon so this is in preposition is ton quion you believe in the sun okay so the sun tons uh, you in the sun then if you see it is a question marker so you have to formulate the translation into a question right so how you would say do you believe in the sun okay so i am i we haven't translated this one yet we haven't looked into it but we are just translating this much okay you believe in the sun that is without the question mark but once you say it like a question then we will say do you believe in the sun is that make sense yes sir yes so this sun and there is some some explanation for this sun who is this sun to is a article right so what what case it is genitive it is a genitive singular okay singular. masculine and singular and even neuter also it can be Uh, but here we take it as a masculine let's because we on we on is a masculine so let's interpret as to is a mas genitive singular anthro who 
Anthropo is uh, the lexical form is anthropos. From there we get this anthropo, and it is in which case genitive. genitive. If you look at the endings here, I'm just trying to highlight. See, this is all same. Okay, so here you have the same ending, so they both they agree with each other. So they have the, so what we said is earlier. Uh, article has to agree with the antecedent or uh, the noun which it represents, right? Uh, so here it is marked to because of anthropo. So what does this mean? Of man. Of man. Anthropo is man or a human being. We say so. Or how we say? Ton we on to anthropo means how we will translate this one. Son we on to anthropo means the son of man. The son of man. Of man. We'll pro pronounce it here as of man. This together as of man. And the son. The son of man. So the whole together, once we, uh, if we want to translate it as a question, as a question, if we want to translate how, how it would read, do you believe? In the son. son of man. Okay. Do you believe? Up to here we get do you believe with a question mark comes first, you know. For English sake, we say that way. Do you believe? Then we have this one in the son of man. Okay, so uh, let's try with another one. Data number five. Uh, I'll ask a well, Murugan and Pavitra, if you are there, uh, try with five. So, okay. Pause. Yeah. Two. Okay. Cosmo. Cosmo. Uh, two. Two, two. Okay. Le pu sin. Le pu sin. Uh, can you identify where is the verb? Is that person plural? Is it? Yeah, please come louder actually. Your voice is a little feeble. I'm uh, not here for that. Blepusin. Ble yeah, blepusin is a verb. Yeah, it's a verb. Good. That person plural. Mm hmm. I don't know the meaning. Day, day. Third person plural. Yeah. And uh, root meaning, uh, re the root form is blepo. Blepo means what? We had an exercise here, blepo. Uh, blepo. C. Okay. What C. does this mean? C. C. Day, so, C. Uh, how you will translate this one? They see. see. Okay, they see. Uh, so, can you to say what is this? Tofos. Tofos. To means the article. Okay. Which gender it is? Neuter. Neuter gender, okay. Neuter gender. Uh, so, FOS, uh, know the meaning for this? FOS? I don't, I don't know. Okay, anybody? Light, maybe. Okay. Light. Light. So, FOS means the light. Okay. So, <clears throat> and uh, uh, what is this uh, together? To Cosmo. Cosmo. 
So to is article and uh, kosmu is a mm -hmm. noun. And uh, can you uh, tell which case it is, which number it is? Masculine genetic or neuter also. Okay. Uh, so it is a masculine or a neuter, she says the new uh, particular with these two. Uh, genetic, genetic, it's a singular or plural? It's um, singular. Singular. So, uh, so together, if you read uh, how it will be translated, top was uh, to Cosmo. The the light two is of the light of cosmo. Is it world? Um, the, the light, light of world. Okay, so that's good. Uh, for English and even also here you have a article the. Okay, so you can say it the light of the world. The world. Okay, the light of the world. Mm -hmm. What happened? They have seen. Okay. Mm -hmm. They they see. They see. Yes. And not they have seen, but they see because it is present active indicative. Blepusin. They are seeing the light of the world. Two two is what? Two two. Do to anybody remember? Demonstrative. Okay, very good. This is a demonstrative pronoun with the genitive case. Okay. They have seen, uh, they are seeing this light of the world. That's a rough translation. Uh, so you can go a little deeper, you know, as uh, days goes by. As you increase more, you know, your knowledge increases, then you will find little more details. Unless we are, I think, 14 minutes uh, to lunch. So let's try to finish this much. And three more data. Uh, who wants to volunteer? Sumit? Brother Sumit? Okay, try with six. Ten, four, four, two, a quiz. Okay. Ten, four, nine, how to a quiz. So, can you identify what is the verb? A quiz. A quiz is the verb. Just pass it for us if you can. Second person singular. Okay. Second person singular, present tense, active, indicative. Present tense, active, indicative. Okay, then lexical form is? Acuo. Acuo. And uh, what is the inflected meaning for this particular word? Aquo means I hear. You hear. So, Aquo is, is you hear. You hear. Okay. So next step is uh, let's find out uh, how to is what. Article? No. Uh, no, this is not article. Article is this one. Article. How to is a pronoun, personal pronoun. And it is just. Which one? Second person, third person, or first person? Uh, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, it is it is third person singular singular and it is in genitive case is it okay 
Is it genetic guess here? Yes, it is genetic guess. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you have here. You here. Sorry, I I should have picked it later. But anyway, so let's hear what they we hear. Can you I find out what is the details for this? Ten is a article. It's an article. And uh, okay, and this one. This on end. On end. This one is uh, noun. Voice. Voice. Same okay. Uh, just I want to know uh, grammatical information for phone in. What case? What gender? What number? Accusative case. Accusative feminine. Okay, good. Singular. Feminine. Singular. Singular. Okay. So it is a fem feminine uh, genitive. Okay. Uh, genitive. Genitive case. Ten phonen. Ten phonen. Phone is a feminine noun, and so the declension will fall into first yes. declension pattern. It will be falling into. So you have this n ending as a second. Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, First declension of feminine uh, genitive. Uh, genitive is uh, not genitive. Accusative. Uh, this is accusative. Accusative. Accusative uh, singular. So what is happening? You are hearing, right? With yes. this one, I can say you are hearing, or you yes, hear. Yes. You hear yeah. the voice. Voice. How to is of him. Of him. Of him. Okay, you are hearing mm -hmm. the voice of him, or you can, you know, for free translation, you can say you are you are hearing his voice. His voice also you can say uh, the free way of translating. So we are just trying rough. Uh, we are not going grammatical that much strict, but anyway. Two more are there, so I'll ask uh, Daniel if you are there. Will you try with this one? Seven. Yes. Exosian, exe, au, uyois, uyois, tau, andropau. Okay, so where is the verb? Uh, verb is uh, andropau. Uh, no, uh, verb is not andropau. Sorry, andro is... okay, okay, sorry, sorry. I think this xa. Okay, a k is the verb. A k is the verb. So, can you pass this one for us? Sorry, can you pass a k? Okay. What? What person number gender? Not gender. What person and what number it is? Which tense it is? Mm, I think uh, this is a plural masculine. Uh, let's say verbs doesn't have masculine uh, gender, rather they will have tense. Sorry, sorry. So you can say about uh, person, is it a first person, second person, or third person? And you can say, is it a singular or plural? It's a singular. OK. What about the person? What person it is? First, third, second, yes. third person, singular. Third person, singular. So uh, what it is? What uh, what it means? He have he has. He has yes he has. he has he has okay. So this is the verb we are finding with. Who has this one? If you see what, what is this, uh, Daniel, you can go ahead and oh, try to okay. tell oh, me. This is a is. Uh, masculine nominative singular. This whole oh, okay masculine nominative singular. Uh, what does this mean? Hope I don't know the word. Okay. We also we already looked into. 
on the top. If you see here, we on, we on is uh, what is this? Turn we on to Anthropo, the son of man. Okay, so you can just guess from there. Obvious is the son. Yeah, he has the son of man. Mm. To Anthropo, what does this mean? Here also you have to. Uh, to Anthropo, the man. Of the man, you say? Oh, sorry, of the man, yeah, of the because man. Because it is genitive, so you say of the man. So, uh, exousian means? Exousian is authority, okay? Authority. So, what you say? Uh, now, we have to supply, who is this uh, third person singular here, right? A K. So, yes. A is who? Oh. Yes. So what we have to say is we have to find out which one of these words have, you know, in a, in a nominative case. So nominative case is the subject marker, right? Yes. Nominative case. So which one has the subject marker here? Anthropo? Uh, yeah, Anthropo. The son no. of man has the authority. Yeah, so Anthropo is not the nominative, it is genitive, so it cannot be a subject. But we us, who we us is in a nominative case. Yes, okay? nominative case. So yes. this is the subject uh, when you translate, you say the son, son of, man. of man has, he has the authority. authority. Or he the has son the of man has the authority. authority. Has the authority. So that, uh, that's how we tra translate it. You know, Greek is a very funny language. It doesn't have any you know, particular structure, a standard pattern of uh, structure. It can go anywhere and it will just uh, mix up and you have to put them together to make a sense. You know, because every Greek word has its own information. Okay, you can put it at the end and still it will become the same thing. Okay, so that's good, right? And uh, one last word, uh, shall I uh, ask uh, Lal Sadma, Alam? I am really struggling with your name. Brother, are you there? No? Okay. Um, shall I ask uh, Thomas Paul, sir? Eight one, it is a big one. Okay, we are already going running out of time. And so I'll ask uh, Jananand if you are available. Um, so, God, Janesh, Kai, Kanato, Evolution, Kakei. A case. Okay. So, what is the verb? Uh, verb is a case. Uh, just pass it. Okay. A case. This is a uh, third person singular. I said third person or second person? Huh? Okay. Second person. Second person. Okay. Second person singular. Similar. Yes. So, what does it mean? Uh, second person singular. You, you uh, have. Okay, you have. Okay, so uh, let's see what next we'll go with. You have, what is the exousian? We already looked into exousian, right? Exousian authority. Is authority. You have the authority. Okay, so here we have you, and also you, uh, we have a you in the front. Shu mm -hmm. is you. Okay. Yeah. What is gar? Gar is uh, is a kind of a, what do you call it? Conjunction. Therefore, or for you can translate it into gar is for. Okay. You here is the you have authority. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Make sense now. Uh, 
I am just trying to, I wish I can number them, but for you have the authority. Okay, what is Joyce is? Joyce is uh, life. Joyce, I, I don't remember. Okay, joy is life. Joy is, is of life. It's in, in genitive singular. Okay, singular. feminine genitive singular case. Joy is. Kai means and. and uh, Tana tu. Tana tu. Tana tu. Tana tos. Did anybody went through noun chart provided last Friday? You have this word, thanatos. Thanatos means death. 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 So it is in genetic case, right? Yes, genetic case both. Joyous and thanatu. So life and death. So what you say? You For you have authority over, we can say for our translation sake, our life. And, and death. 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 Joy is high, uh, so uh, actually, the, I thought if there was time, we should have gone through this uh, verbs list. Uh, but uh, we are already 12.30, so we'll have to bind up here. But this uh, handout would be given out to the classroom today. Classroom, so please go through these verbs. Okay, these are all important verbs, at least for the basic uh, label. So try to go through this one. In coming week, you will be needing this vocabulary. Just try to by heart. Try to write it down. Uh, all these words. If you have any issues, like some inconsistency with the meanings, just get back to us so that we we'll try to correct. I hope there are no, none. But if you come across any mistakes or any, you know. Inconsistencies just come back to us. So uh, this uh, document will be posted on the classroom. Just uh, take time to read through this one. And uh, Suraj, you plan to make any assignment for today? Any parsings? Suraj? And uh, you just have to feel this thing. And for your reference, uh, this, doc this, this document will be uh, shared with you so that you can refer back to it. Okay, and uh, I don't think you have anything to do with this one because we didn't write any meetings. So I don't think it will be more Anna, helpful. Anna, 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 can you show more, one more that the table? This thing? Yeah, okay. the full, the full. Oh, this, this one you're saying, what list? Yeah, that also. Yeah, this is uh, in the same document, uh, so, okay. No, no, th this will get uh, like not PDF or anything. Yeah, this should be given in a PDF uh, because many of you may no, not have. No, no, I think, I think for us, maybe this also will help us for the, the grammar and all areas. Yeah, if we get, yeah, for, I thought that I can take one snapshot. So I just ask. Okay, and I think uh, Daniel, no need to take snapshot. We'll just wait. The whole document will come to you in the classroom. Okay. So, so one doubt is uh, whether uh, this uh, verb can be in any position. Verb. Yes, okay. sir. Verb, verb. Yeah. Uh, uh, can the verb be in any position? Uh, can the verb be in any position? Uh, uh, in the middle or in the last or in the first? Like yeah, I think we have seen some of the, sometimes here. Uh, if I will uh, highlight here, you see the verb is here. Uh, we are out of time, but anyway, I'll just quickly highlight the verb position, you see. So it can be anywhere in a sense you can just have a look at it. Uh, basing upon the sentence and of course. Okay, these are the verbs. You can see the position. Sometimes it is at the end, sometimes it is so, here you have here at the end. So the summary is it is a uh, flexible language kind of thing. Jenna, would you stop your microphone? 
Uh, so, oh, sorry. Yeah, language is uh, Greek. Greek language is very flexible in this position. So uh, they can shift around the place. Uh, but in English, you cannot do. If you do the shifting of the place, it doesn't sound natural. And the focus, you know, it will have a wrong meaning. You know, English language will communicate wrong. So that is the thing. Okay. Uh, if any more questions are there, we'll discuss, try to discuss, address them tomorrow in the morning. And uh, we'll try to solve. Today, we'll just uh, wind up today. And... Uh, sir, excuse me, sir. How can yeah. you write, sir, English, uh, Greek alphabet type? Well, there is a key man uh, software. I hope you yeah. know that. So if you go to the key man's website, there you try Greek language. And uh, there will be... Uh, a keyboard, you can download it and you can start typing. It will be initially, you have to practice a little bit, may not gain that much speed, but you know, it is just like a ABCD kind of thing, so you can try. Yeah. I think so I have to download keyboard. I have used, downloaded this thing, yeah, from Keyman, just the way you download Uriya script or Hindi script. To type, you know, like that, you yeah. you can type Koine Greek or ancient Greek keyboard. Just say yeah. Koine Greek or ancient Greek. Uh, what I'm using is Galaxia Greek. Galaxia yeah. Greek. So you can try with that. Galaxia. Okay, sir. Okay, so let's bind up to the. Tapas, would you pray for us and we'll stop? Sir, sir, did you tell uh, Tapas? Uh, yes, would you pray for us and we'll stop? Okay, okay. So let us pray together. Father God, we thank you for your love and grace. Thank you for that.